Last month, I put out a video breaking down how I run my 49ers flex Y off close offense. Since then, I've been able to dive in the 49ers playbook and learn all the other formations that I have at my disposal. Adding these formations has enhanced my offense to a point where I'm averaging over 400 yards passing a game and I'm putting up a bunch of points. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how and why I do what I do and hopefully make you a better Madden player. All of the formations that I'm gonna go over in this video are commonly found in playbooks all across the game. So even if you don't run the 49ers offense, I think you'll find some value in this video. And we're gonna start this off with my red zone offense. The first formation I'm gonna be breaking down for my red zone offense is single back bunch X nasty. And the way I like to get here is by audibling down for my main formation gun flex Y off close. The plays I audible to are PA cross and PA boot, but the play calling here isn't as important as the mechanics of what I'm doing. As I audible down to single back bunch X nasty, I'm basically getting Christian McCaffrey off his play action assignment by blocking him or putting him on a route and then as i snap the ball i'm spurting out right to beat the edge to the outside the important things to note here are faster quarterbacks will get more separation and the better you have an element of surprise the more successful the play will be as if you spam it it can be easily stopped the second and main formation i run in the red zone is an audible down method out of gun split close if any of you are familiar with the video i put out on gun split close last year one of the things i love was how effective this motioned out wheel was in the red zone on top of that we have this slot corner from jerry rice that would run the back of the end zone perfectly and beat both cover two and man coverage giving us almost an unbeatable route combo in the red zone unfortunately with the recent patch that came out on madden this corner route doesn't do anything anymore just sprints outside and then runs back at the quarterback so we had to adjust the adjustment i made was coming out in a two running back two tight end one wide receiver split close this allowed me to audible from gun split close to i form wing and i form tight the reason this is important is both those formations have dominant rpo stretch runs which give us a chance to really run the ball in the red zone in addition coming out and gun split close gives us access to the motioned out halfback wheel as well as keeps our opponent out of goal line defenses in this first example i audible the iphone wing and i run the rpo stretch alert lucky unfortunately he's able to perfectly spread his line at the same time i snapped the ball and a guy came in free but we were still able to fight and get the first down right here we audible over to the rpo stretch alert you pop out of i form tight this is actually my favorite rpo stretch alert run as i feel like it blocks the best and gives us the best chance to really stretch the field to the outside in this second example we go back to the i form tight rpo stretch alert u pop and the reason i love this play so much is it has this tight end rpo so as you can see here his user crashes hard towards the running back and we're able to sneak in that throw for a touchdown on top of that the last play i run in the i form tight is fullback dive and what i like to do is use this as a mix up of people who overcommit to the stretch by playmaking my running back to the left and attacking the defense to a weak spot this next set of formations i'm breaking down is what i like to call my blitz beaters these are plays i like to audible to to quick snap against the blitz and get big plays the first first formation we're breaking down is tight Y off and the first play we'll be breaking down is choice pivot return right here I want to highlight the choice route out of the far left slot this route absolutely fries man unless it gets usered it is going to destroy man and get open over the middle and the perfect counter that I love for this is the inside slot corner route right here from Jerry Rice you just free form that out and versus single coverage we have a chance for a huge play complementing that powerful pass player two great run plays we have oh one trap right here one of the dominant runs in Madden history it's always really good and then inside zone another well blocked run play that you can audible to first blitz to pick up easy yards the next formation in our blitz beaters is gun tray y flex and a cool fun fact about this formation is normally when you audible out of a formation the strong side of the formation you audible out of will match the strong side of the formation you audible in for example, flex Y off close, the strong side is the three running back, the tight end, the wide receiver on the short side. So if we audible to a trips formation, the trips should come out on the short side. Well, when you audible to Trey Y flex, the trips actually come out on the wide side, which is beautiful for us because we have great spacing and we can quick snap. As you can see, I just call the play verticals here. And the thing I love is it comes stock with a meshing concept. We have this deep post from the inside slot and a drag from the tight end. You just pick whoever the user doesn't take for easy yards, both of them beat man. What I like to do versus zone blitz is I'll throw that middle slot on a flat. And as we snap the ball, we can immediately throw this. Sometimes the outside streak will actually block for you and you're able to pick up a huge gain. This next set of formations and the last set of formations I'm gonna be breaking down are things I like to call to attack the middle of the field. With double Mabeling, where your opponent sets their zone drops to take away the sidelines, being such a prevalent defensive meta, it is super important to be able to attack the middle of the field away from the user for big gains. And the first formation I'm gonna be breaking down is gun double y flex and out of here we're only calling one play it's four verticals we all run into cover three and head to head and sometimes it's just playing better than it really should and four verticals is the kryptonite to cover three here we call it quick snap that vertical touchdown to the left and then right here we just quick snap 
and we call it and we get a huge gain down the seam to a right four verticals is awesome don't spam it but when used tastefully it does a great job of beating cover three next formation breaking down is gun bunch x nasty and the play we're calling is speed dig here's the setup basically we're just going to streak the slot wide receiver and you could really do anything with the running back i put him on an angle route doesn't really matter what we're looking at is this deep crosser from the wide receiver once that clear out gets the deep zone out of the way we're able to throw that for a big gain right here his user actually does a great job of taking away the crosser but because he vacated the middle we can hit that backside dig it almost plays like a post it is a great route similar to the tight y off formation the inside zone out of bunch x nasty is amazing it has great blocking you get three guys in the bunch formation to block it's a phenomenal job we also have this play counter y which i want to take the time to look at because it is not something you want to call all the time it's very situational so if we look here our de meets both of our requirements but there really is two he has to either be slow or he has to be pinned to the inside because this play is reliant on your right guard getting outside and picking up the edge defender so if he's slow you'll have a touchdown if he's pinned inside you'll also have a huge gap to gain a bunch of yards next formation i'm going to be breaking down is gun empty base flex yes five wide and the first play we're going to be breaking down is jailbreak slot screen looking at the play art here we got a bunch of blockers screaming out to the right side to go pick up dbs so as we snap the ball here we're going to wait just a second to let our linemen get out there and then we're just going to dump this off to jerry rice for a nice easy gain this is a great mix and play versus heavy zone or even versus man blitz to help get a few easy yards the next play I'm going to be breaking down out of gun empty base flex is the play choice stick knot. And if you look here, we're reading three routes. We got a choice route out of the left slot. Out of the near right slot, we have a tight end double move. And right next to that in the middle slot, we have a return route from the wide receiver. Starting with the choice route in the left slot, the thing I love about this is it can basically run any route based on defensive coverage. Here, there is no one to the flat, so he breaks outside for an easy gain. The next play, we snap the ball, and this time he puts a flat on the field, but we're able to hit this return route underneath. His user was taking the deep tight end double move, another huge gain. Right here, he puts a flat out there, and he tries to take away the double move. The choice route runs a slant, almost like a post for a huge gain. And now on this last play of the sequence, we snap the ball, and the user tries to take away the return, then tries to take away the choice, and we're able to hit him over the middle for a double move and an easy touchdown. The last formation, and probably my favorite formation that I'm going to be breaking down, is gun tray open. And there's only one play I call out of this, and that is drag verticals and what we're starting is by looking at this slot post from the tight end here we have a rolled cover three and i'm able to throw this thing right in front of the safety's face that is 85 overall max mayor on paul kraus for a huge gain to smoke cover three here versus cover two i don't know if he blew his coverage didn't roll with safeties or whatever we smoke cover two with that post this post is absolutely electric moving on fourth and 22 game is on the line here it looks like this guy's in a cover two i snap the ball and he immediately goes after the post with his user but what he forgets is this slot wheel from jerry rice to basically win me the game now here we're looking at what is cover two man but he's usering one of the deep blues he brought it down but it's basically man coverage and i'm looking at the iso side comeback route versus man coverage this thing is a machine guys comeback routes are amazing in this game they're awesome here i believe this is a man zone hybrid doesn't matter we slang that comeback route for another touchdown that's our fourth touch of the game and we force the rage quit guys this play is electric Alrighty, i hope you guys found a lot of value in that video i went over a lot of formations obviously i'm not able to get to all of these formations in the game it's all situational based but i hope i gave you guys enough information where you can apply this to your own scheme and have a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in the next one.